welcome to my cookie class. I am Mom Carol and I will be your teacher for today. I hope that you will enjoy your lesson with me until the end of this video. So with that, let's get started. Alright, before anything else, let me first introduce to you the objectives that you will be able to meet at the end of this lesson. First, utilize proper tools and equipment in cookie. Second, Identify the different tools and equipment in Kukiri. And the third is, classify the uses and function of the different tools in Kukiri. Before we proceed to our main topic, let's just have a quick review of our last discussion. And that was all about SWOT analysis. So, SWOT analysis or SWET is an acronym for Strength, Weakness, Opportunities, and Threats. So this is a planning tool for professional project or business venture like Kukiri. So now I know you class are excited for our next topic. So our main topic for today will be about the different tools and equipment used in Kukiri. So tools and equipment are classified according to their uses. Listen carefully because these tools and their functions are as follows. First on the list of classification of the different tools and equipment is the cooking ware. First on the list of cooking ware is we have food steamer. So food steamer is a small kitchen appliance used to cook or prepare various foods with steam heat. The second one is the pressure cooker. So, pressure cooker is an airtight cooking device that cooks food quickly and thanks to the steam procedure that builds up inside. Next is the fry pan or skillet. So, it is a flat bottom pan used for frying, searing, and browning foods. It is typically 20 to 30 centimeter in diameter with relatively low sides that flare outwards a long handle and no lid. Next is boil, double boiler. So double boiler is used when temperature must be kept below boiling point. Okay, so this tool is really good when you will be using or melting your chocolate for ganache because this will help the chocolate to be safe not to be burned. So we are done with the different cooking wares. Now let's go to the second classification which is the mixing equipment. So first is we have wire whisk or whisk. So what is the use of this equipment? Okay, so whisk is used for blending, um, mixing and blending butter or egg. So next Mixing tool is we have wooden spoon. So wooden spoon is important because Ooh. of course this is made of wood and this is used for stirring or creaming or mixing the ingredients. Okay, so why wood? Wood because wood will not react to any chemical or some chemical that is present in the ingredients. Next, we have mortar and pizzle. So, mortar and pizzle is another mixing tool because this is used to pound ingredients. So, we also have mixing bowl. So, mixing bowl is a um, deep bowl used in mixing the different ingredients together. Now, let's go to the different cutting tools. So, we have first is of course, cutting knife. Cutting knife is used for cutting, slicing, or paring ingredients. We also have cutting shears. So cutting shears, just like a knife, this is also used for cutting. And now we have, of course, the cutting board. So cutting board, it can either be um, plastic or wooden. So this is used to protect countertops while cutting or chopping the ingredients or cutting food so now let's proceed to the next classification of tools 
and this is the yes the serving tools so first on the list of serving tools is we have the food tong tong or also known as serving tong is used to grab or transfer food items next is we also have of course the serving spoon so what is the use of this we all know that it is used to spoon liquid over foods and left foods Alright, so those are the different classification of tools. So we have cooking wares, we have serving tools, we also have mixing tools. Now let's go to the equipment. Okay, so what is equipment? Equipment is refers to larger items in the kitchen that handle bulk preparation or cooking in the kitchen. So, it is usually or mostly operated by electricity. Okay, so first on the list of an equipment is we have refrigerator. So, refrigerator is necessary in preventing bacterial infections from foods. Next, we also have microwave oven or electric oven. So, microwave oven or electric oven is used in cooking or baking goods we also have blender so blender is also operated through electricity and is used in mixing or blending different ingredients and there you have it we just finished discussing the classification of tools and equipment in cooking and to make sure that you still have that in your mind Will you answer the following questions? I will give you some time to answer the questions. Good luck! And time is up. I know you are done answering your quiz. And I hope you learned a lot today in our lesson. And of course, before I forget, for your homework, please do an advanced reading on the proper cleaning and sanitizing of tools in your mobile. Again, this is Ivanka.